What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, sorry, it's been a while since my last video, a few days at least. Um, but again, like I've said numerous times, I'm uh, not really a video a day kind of guy. So anyway, that being said, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, hope you find uh, what we do here interesting or entertaining or informational. Um, at least one of the three or two of the three. Hopefully not none of the three. Um, if you're returning to the channel, thanks for coming on back. Thanks for uh, helping support me and keep this channel alive. Um, if you are a subscriber, again, I appreciate it. If you're not, please, uh, if you find this informational or any of the three above, um, just go ahead and subscribe. Um, I'd appreciate it. Uh, that being said, uh, this is going to be a short video today. I don't have a whole lot uh, to do you know, with the holiday that just passed and everything. It's been kind of a hectic week. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot of uh, messing around outside of doing some schoolwork. Uh, I've done a little bit of scripting. Um, but um, in my last video, I made mention that I got a hold of a tester laptop. And so that is what we are doing here. Um, I've started my first longer term distro review. Um, I've been on Arco Linux for quite some time now, um, and I've been on Arch for quite some time before that. Um, I've always been a fan of Arch based distros. Um, but that being said, the only other distro I lived any long term in was uh, Linux Mint. Um, so I thought we would uh, check out a few other options and just kind of get a little bit more. Uh, well-rounded in the Linux uh, universe so I am doing a longer term distro review on what we have here uh, as you can see I have a very minimal um, just very basic DWM install um, the color scheme might give this away for you but if not we are doing a distro review right now on void Linux and I gotta say off the bat I am a big fan um, I haven't been in it long enough. Um, I literally got it all installed and set up last night. Um, so I haven't been in it long enough to have a very long term uh, understanding and appreciation for it. But man, from the get go, I got to say, this is a great distribution. Very simple, even on the base install. Um, when you install it, if you go to uh, their website here, um, if you go to their website at Void Linux, not the Gecko drivers, but sorry, I'm voidlinux.org, and you go to download. Um, you can see they have their base install and their XFCE. I am kind of a, well, I don't want to say the word purist because that's not, that's horrible. Um, I prefer no DE installed when I install my system, so I went with the base install, and it's not anything really like an Arch system or a Gen 2 I guess although I've never installed Gen 2 but from what I hear I could be wrong correct me if that's the case but um, you can you got a live image here and once you put into that live in live image um, you get a nice end curses installer which is real simple and I'm telling you something man this this distribution installs fast it is I mean it walks you through the things that you need to do and even when you're done with that and you hit install it is like bam you are done um, takes no time at all um, setup was a breeze um, setting up services with uh, setting up services with um, run it is a piece of cake in this um, I thought not having um, system D and uh, run in system control and all that was gonna be confusing but man just the ease of setting up services is amazing um, and I know Artix is kind of the same way and so you can be expecting an artist Artix comparison with void um, but man I'm telling you uh, void is definitely a contender for uh, one of my favorite distros um, I've done short-term distro hopping on all different kinds of distributions um, but long term like I said I've only been in Linux Mint which is Debian based and Arch and Arco um, so my opinion might change once I spend a little more time in Void, but f from what I'm seeing so far, that's not really the case. Void is an amazing uh, distribution. Setup is has been a breeze so far. Um, the only thing that was kind of a hiccup was getting Brave Browser, but I mean, there's great great help um, out there to get Brave Browser up and running. Um, so yeah, um, we'll see. Um, one of the big things on Arch, like a lot of people, is the AUR. Um, so if I don't have the AUR, um, I don't know if that's going to be a big issue for me, uh, but I really don't think so. Um, so that being said, um, 
again, void is what I'm going with. This is just kind of a introduction to what my next few videos are going to be about, or my next, or my I shouldn't say my next few videos, my next um, or my first long-term distro review. Um, and I gotta say, from the start, I like it. So um, keep on watching, uh, and I'm gonna be using this um, as my daily driver for a while here, and we're gonna start getting used to it and see what we think. So if you have any tips or tricks or anything that you think I should know about Void, um, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Um, and if you have a suggestion for the next distribution to check out, go ahead and leave that in the comments as well. Um, but if not, yeah, I hope you uh, find this interesting, and uh, let's see what we think about Void in the future.